Hey guys, TDV here, and we're back with another episode of the Unity Voxel Tutorial Series. Today we're going to work on changing the directory that we did all this in, so right off the bat, let's go create a new c -sharp script called File Manager. This is going to save all of our directories and everything and make sure that everything is all loaded and ready to go. Remove the mono behavior bit here. And first off, we need to set up some public static read-only bits of code. Uh, this is going to be chunk save directory. It's going to be equal to, and we're going to go data world dev world. We'll change this so that we can actually give that value in here. Uh, that's going to need some initial uh, starting it up, and we'll have to be able to change this from read only. Anyway, uh, chunks here, like so. Bring, and we'll put that there. We'll do a public static void register files. And the first thing we're going to do is go into serializer dot ch uh, check gen folder and we're going to check the chunk save directory. Like so. All right. We're also going to create a new file in here or public static string get chunk string. Uh, we'll go ahead and give an int of x and int of y and d like so. So let's go start setting that up here. We're going to be returning string.format and it's going to be so. All right, so the first variable is zero and then it's going to be C underscore one underscore two dot chk. And it's going to be this. And the information is going to be chunk save directory x, y, z. Like so. Okay. That's going to get our directory that we need to start saving to. So we're going to need to jump over into world here. Change this entirely. And while we're at it, let's go into our serializer. And create, instead of serialize to file, we're going to create serialize to file full path. It's gonna take the path, no extensions, nothing like that, and the data. I'm gonna set the open write to this path. Like so. That is it. That hop back over into our serializer class. And we need the deserializer, which is correct. So let's hop back over into our world here. And we're gonna do serialize to file full path here. And we're gonna do file manager dot get chunk string, and we're gonna give it. dot position x uh c dot position z and i realize i made a mistake so we'll, let's go hop back over to file manager here here we don't need that it's always zero we'll change we might change that in the future for stacking purposes the underscore That wasn't supposed to be there anyway. I didn't intend for that. Okay. Back over to world. That should get that. And we're going to just go ahead and grab this bit of data here. So I don't have to write that out again. All right, you know what? We're going to write it out again. Anyway, our checking bit here, we're going to check if file exists. And it's going to be file manager dot get, get chunk string. And it's going to be X and Z. Also down here, deserialize from file, it's going to be file manager dot get chunk string. Okay, 
Okay, and I got some kind of error here. Go. All right, and here we go. Gonna go in here and check out the data directory. Saves world chunk. It shouldn't be in there, so I'm gonna actually just remove all of it. And let's give her a shot. Ah, commas are good. There we go. Okay, so it's having an issue finding all of those. I'm gonna go ahead and modify the terrain over here. Back any higher than that. Okay, closing, and I'm gonna hop over and check it out here. Data, world, dev world, chunks. Um, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, I know. <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, yeah, serializer. Serialize the file, this, no. Try that again. Should also have an issue loading that. Uh, it's a bit freezy at the beginning. Uh, we can fix that as well. But again, we'll have to change how we're generating everything, which I want to do anyway. I want to be able to have more chunks than what we have set up right here. Close that up and take another peek. Here we go. There's our files. Popping back in. Let's see if our modification saved. And there we go. Alrighty, guys. So that's changing the directory for uh, that. I'm gonna go quick over it real quick. So this is the directory where it's gonna be saved. To change this, we need to make this not read only, which is fine, but we'd have to actually initialize this or check to make sure it's all gone if it ever gets called, one or two. Or create a function that attaches this to it as it's a getter setter. There's a few ways we can do it. However, I'm not uh, before we run, because I want to be able to have different kinds of worlds. Uh, this check gen folder here. Oh, yes. Also, we need to go uh, game manage. I completely forgot about that. Right here. Check save directory. Chunk save direct. Oh, no. Whoopsies. Register files like so. Yeah, the reason that it had done it is because we were checking them prior to it. It's also the thing that created all those files and caused all those problems as well on that note, so. Um, so we'll need to register that. All we really did was make something so it's easier for us to get this information and pull it out and a bit more work. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.